again. And in this video, we're going to photograph some smoke. Again, it's not a time when we've been going out doing lots of photography, so kind of looking to explore things we can do at home. And you know, a lot of people take a lot of enjoyment from photographing smoke. Um, so I just want to spend five minutes and uh, and just sort of talk you through how I would do it and, uh, and see if you can get going on it yourself. So what do we need? We need our camera, ideally. That needs to be on a tripod, so I'll get your tripod out. We need um, uh, a speed light, and I've got a, a speed light just here actually. Um, it's just tucked underneath. There we go. Um, my uh, got a Nikon speed light there, and I've got a trigger on the bottom of it. Um, and what I've got here is just a bent piece of um, uh, mount board. And the reason I've got that is just to be able to direct the light a little bit more. For a background, what we need is a piece of mount board. Mount boards, we've all got it, we've all got it lying around. Any piece of black card would do. Um, so just, uh, just find yourself some. And you've got, to, you've got to make that stand up. So you can make that stand up any way you like. The easiest way I find is if you literally just get a couple of uh, studio clamps or lighting clamps, whatever you want to call them, stick them on the edges and that'll allow it to, to just kind of stand up and just stand it in the background there. The other thing we need to photograph smoke is there's lots of things that can smoke. Easiest thing is one of these. Um, if you're a hippie, you'll have joysticks in the house. If you're not, um, your wife might have some kicking around. My wife buys these at, at various food festivals and things. And to be fair, we never ever use them. Um, it's something we buy every now and again, but just never, never use. So we've always got a couple of these kicking around. So this one is um, Sea Breeze. 20 perfumed incense sticks. Doesn't have to be sea breeze, could be any flavor you like. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a second uh, clamp just to, just to hold that in there like that and kind of put it in front. Now the key thing here is that we need our, um, we need our light to come onto the joystick, onto the smoke, but not onto the background. And that's why I've just put a piece of mount card bent over the top of the flash to stop the light hitting this mount board in the background. So the light is coming very directional and it's gonna hit that, it's gonna hit that joystick very directional, um, which is gonna enable us to create something that, uh, that, that, that kind of works. As I say, I've got a couple of triggers on. I, I use Pixel King triggers, but you can use any, any trigger you, you, you wish. And um, we're going to use those just to um, uh, trigger the flash. So that's, that's the first things first. Second thing we need to do is get our camera set up. So let's have a little walk around here. And we've got our joystick kind of roughly right in the middle there. I've got a normal 24 to 70 lens on here, to be fair, and that, and that will probably work quite well. I just want to get focused on the tip of that joystick. Helps if you put your, there we go. So I've just focused that camera there. I'm going to knock it back into manual because we don't want that to move now. I'm just going to make sure that this, this light is, is kind of pointing roughly where I want it. I've got it in quite a loose kind of setting there. And let's just, let's just fire that and make sure it all works. It does, right. I'm going to just turn those lights off for a second. I'm just going to photograph that joystick on its own. I'll just have a quick look at that. I'm going to look at my settings. And I think that's, we've got, looking at the histogram on the back of this camera here, um, I've got a bit of light there. So I just, to be fair, I just want to knock those settings down a touch because I want that black to be, to be black. So I'm just going to take those settings to about there. That's 7.1 now. So that's f7.1, 160 per second. That's better. That's that's black. Um, so have a round, have a play around with your with your settings so that the black is actually black. Um, and then I'm going to pop the flash on. Just, and then when that fires this time, I can see the flash shooting there. Take a look at it again. Great. Same histogram. 
nothing in the background. Brilliant. Next thing we've got to do is light the joystick. Lighter time. We're all boys. We all like playing with fire. Let's get that lit. Let it burn for a second or two. There we go. And blow it out. Simple as that. As you move around, I mean, the, 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 the smoke from a joystick is, is very sensitive to air movement. So as you're literally moving around, you'll create air movement that you see there, I'm just moving my hand really slowly in front of it and it's, and it's kind of disturbing the air, which is kind of what we want to do. Go straight up now. Let's just take a picture. Let's see that. I've got the smoke there. I've not quite got the smoke enough as I'd like, so I'm just going to change a couple of settings on the camera. There we go. That's better. Now I've got this this joystick kind of coming into the, the the central bottom part of the frame because I want to focus more on the on the smoke. I'm just going to turn it up a touch. There we go, and just lock it back off. Check my focus, still looks good. Pretend as you can see here, you don't always get, you don't get your smoke forming in the first centimeter or so from the end of the, end of the tip. It, it kind of starts a little bit further. Even me just putting my finger close to it and talking is, is changing the airflow around here. So these are very, very sensitive. But actually we'll just let that settle down again. There we go. And then we will take a picture. There we go, we'll take a look at that. That's great, I like that. Let's just knock a few out. When it starts to go straight, it will settle down and eventually go straight. And that's the point where you can start to play with it. You can, you can just waft your hand past it, create a bit of movement, try and grab, the, grab that movement. Let's take a look at that. Or we can compress it down a bit. Let it go again. We can get rid of it completely. So you can literally play for hours just by doing that. And then you start to get those interesting smoke pictures. They are easy to do. It's not a rocket science. It's a bit of fun. And sometimes, you know, you'll need, you'll need smoke for another purpose. You might want to put smoke onto, um, onto one of your, your images where there is no smoke. So maybe someone's got a, a cigarette that, that wasn't lit and you want to kind of make the impression it was lit, you could use that. Um, I've seen it used with a smoking gun, in, just for example, like, like this image I've got here. And, and this is one I did quite a long time ago. But you can see there, we've got that smoke. That smoke was not there at the time. She didn't fire the gun, it came from just this kind of joystick experience here. Let's take a couple more. Let's just move it around. There we go. And what you can find is as you move the smoke around and create and create different shapes in that smoke, you can get some interesting shapes. You can do this all you like for hours on end if you wish and you'll get some some very interesting shapes but the key thing here is it's all about that light if you did it without the light the smoke wouldn't look anywhere near as good um, and by just by highlighting the smoke with with a light from from a speed light just gives it that that vibrance just makes it stand out gives it contrast from its background but it's really important to just to use a little bit of bent card or something over the top of that over the top of that light so that a you're not pushing light onto the background and because i'm bringing it in from the side i don't want to push light into the lens either so i've just got that protected by creating technically they call it a snood um, just a bit of a tube where the light's coming down and it's just it's just hitting this this smoke let's just see if we can get some interesting shapes there there we go and again Okay, 
I'm going to leave you to play with that. Have a go. It doesn't take long. It's a really easy setup. It's just a piece of mount card, which most of us have got. Another piece of off-cut mount card to, to create that, um, that snood effect. And then a speed light and a camera and a joystick. I mean, I've used, as I say, um, uh, clamps here to, to kind of put it all together, but you could use anything. You could prop, you prop your mount board up on a bit, a couple of books. You could stick this in a piece of plasticine. Whatever you've got, you don't need anything super expensive or super technical to do this. You just need something that smokes, and people can use cigarettes for this if you're a smoker, and if you've got that kind of thing, not something that I will condone, um, but uh, if, if you have got that kind of thing, you can use the same. Jostics are the most popular things. Piece of paper tends to burn quickly, um, and you need to be really careful that you don't set your house on fire, clearly. So, you know, when you are burning things, always take the appropriate precautions. Other than that, have a play. And uh, it's just a couple more of the images that, uh, that I've done today. And uh, have fun and uh, stay healthy. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.